Hey, what's up guys? I thought in this video it'd be fun to talk about downsampling and hopefully it'll be pretty useful for any of you who are interested in making videos, images, you may have already heard of this term. Essentially what you're doing with downsampling is taking an image at a higher resolution than you expect to use finally as the final image and you're shrinking that high resolution image with lots of information and you're shrinking it to a smaller one that is smaller but higher quality. So you're getting a higher quality image that's smaller as opposed to a larger image overall. So I'm gonna talk about why you might wanna do this and why it's especially important in a lot of video cameras. The camera I'm using right now actually does that. So let's get into it. You see, most cameras today, pretty much all of them actually, use what are called Bayer sensors. And that just means that for every pixel, one captures red, one captures blue, and two capture green. But really all you need to know is to actually capture one pixel's worth, you need a red, green, and blue. So we add the extra green one in there to make it look better to our eyes, which are more sensitive to green. But you can think of it as needing three real physical pixels to capture one pixel that is gonna be used in displaying it back on a screen or that sort of thing. So if you look at a specification that says 1920 by 1080, it's really not actually true 1080. That's because it has to be interpolated because the part of the pixel array that's capturing one part of a scene is only blue or only green or only red. You're not getting all the information. The rest has to be built back in. So the effective resolution is a lot lower than what they're saying and they use some algorithms that interpolate and look at say, all right, well, uh, judging by what these different pe pixels captured, then this one is probably gonna be more of a orangish color. So you're gonna have to get more information to get a real image. That's where downsampling comes in. If you say capture a 4K image to downsample into a 1080 image, that's gonna mean that you're getting way more effective pixels and even if you consider that they're bare pixels, you're still getting enough to have true 1080. That's why a lot of cameras might say, oh, well, yeah, this is 1080 and then you look at another camera and it looks way sharper even though it's still 1080, why, what's the difference? One camera is gonna be capturing the original image at say 4K and then shrinking it down, and it's gonna look much sharper because it has much more original information to deal with. It's gonna look truer. It doesn't have to interpolate any information. It's capturing how it actually is. There's no guesswork. And software does have a lot to do with it. If you captured an image 10 years ago, it would be better looking if you imported it into a raw editor today than you did 10 years ago because the algorithms for adapting that information and figuring out what was in there is gonna look better. But in any case, it's gonna always look better as long as you're using CMOS sensor to downsample than it would be to capture at the native resolution. So if you ever see a camera such as the C100, it'll say effective pixels. That's what it's talking about. It's talking about the actual physical number of pixels, which are bare pixels. So hopefully that made sense. I kind of had a hard time wrapping my head around it myself. If you guys have any questions or if you want me to explain a little bit more, I can try to do that in the comment section or add it to the description. I'll add any corrections down there. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know what you think down there and also give this video a thumbs up so I know you liked it. And if you guys want to subscribe, I make new videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I think it should be worth it. It's lots of fun here. And if you want to continue watching, I've got other videos on the right-hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys, either in the comments section or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.